Hi, I will show you part of a basic project workflow in which you'll be making sub-issues to resolve a bigger issue. What I mean by that is, uh, so take a look at an, uh, an example issue. This is early in a project where there's a ball that needs to be the top center of a screen, whatever. Um, and this is the, the, the testing code that is needed for it. And because the pr so for example it needs to get the screen size of a game object, it needs to get the ball center coordinate from a game because it's a basketball game so it has a, has, it has a ball, uh, it needs to get the, sc the width of a screen size and it needs to get half that. So, uh, so because it's early in the project all these functions that are, that are just written down in this test need to be created. Also in the end there's a function is more or less equal, or should maybe should be called is about equal, in which they compare two floating point values um, and if they see are more or less equal because there are rounding off errors. So what needs to happen, um, so, so most of these functions don't exist, and I can show this in the code too, and um, then I'll, what I'll be doing then I'll be create the first of those functions that doesn't work and we'll write the issue for that I won't write uh, the code it, the, the code itself. Alright so the issue is called 25 if I just search through my project on the word underscore 25 I will find it I remove these things and the code gives me errors it detects all the functions that are not there yet and it talks about get screen size so this is the first and only thing I'll be making a sub-issue of. So with a sub-issue what I mean is that, that it's an issue that makes the bigger issue, allowing the bigger issue to be finished. So, um, so the test will already be uh, these lines of code. Um, so I'll copy-paste them, but I can also write the issue now. New issue. So we start now from the testing code that I just ruthlessly copy pasted. A game has a screen size. That's what it does. Um, a game has a screen size. Or maybe better, arena size. It, it determines which coordinates are in and out of the screen, are inside and outside, are inside and outside of the screen. Um, also it does, it does not need to match a monitor's resolution at all. So uh, uh, this is quite detailed, uh, but I describe um, a bit in English what it's about. Deter um, allow for this. Um, and actually the test can be even more simplified. We don't care, we don't need to store the screen size. If we just can get the screen size, we are happy. This is all that needs to be accounted for. So I can submit this issue, um, to but, but the, on the other hand, it's not in the in 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 the code yet. I should make this in, now. I should put this in the code too, um, so that people can actually work on it. So it's issue twenty six, and I'm gonna put this above this one. So I'm just gonna copy. I'm gonna copy paste the code. There, 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 and there. So now we have the test for issue 26. I'm going to com comment out issue 25 because that doesn't work. Uh, issue 26 also doesn't work yet. So I've also commented out, but I put them in the order that it goes from small, which is this issue 26, to bigger, which is issue 25. Issue 25 depends on issue 26 working. So I'm going to check in this test. 
git um, git commit add test to add test for a screen size progress issue 26 git push so now issue 26 if I press refresh on my screen it will link it to the commit uh, and it also means that because of the, the, the if dev statements like, like these things this is like a social convention in this github repository people can actually find the issue um, so one lot so, so this is a clear thing a game has a screen size it's a complete issue now it, it depends on nothing uh, we can add some labels like good first issue or something like this let's do that bug depends it's a good first issue uh, maybe it's a bit too vague we can we, we can talk about that but let's call it a good first issue but this is a sub issue of 25 so what I'm now gonna do in 25 I'm gonna add the dependencies uh, I like to add it at the top depends on and then I use 26 you see I use the asterisk to start a bulleted list the square brace with a space in between to get check check uh, I call check marks uh, I'm just gonna update the comment and now we can see that indeed it's still an open issue we, like we can check or uncheck it if we want um, note that this issue also say sees uh, updates itself so this checkbox is a bit redundant you could say and what I'm gonna add to the label is I add the, the depends label to it so this is a custom label it's in this repository in Tres and Formal we do use it it means that it needs to resolve some other issues first before it, this one can be done so here I've showed you how to make a sub issue from a bigger issue that is how to make a little like smaller issues from a bigger one um, and how we uh, annotate this in of course uh, this setup that concludes this video and I wish you a very good day bye